New lawmakers are back at the Texas Capitol after a holiday break, prolonging the second month of special sessions in search of a plan to cut property taxes. Our Ryan Chandler joins us from the Capitol with the latest on the path towards your tax cut. Ryan. Well, Jen, Daniel, we are crawling through this second overtime legislative session and now five days into July, we still don't have any clearer idea of where we are towards a property tax relief plan. Even lawmakers say that they're unclear when we could get a deal to lower your property taxes and what that could even look like. Remember, we are here long after lawmakers were set to go home after finishing the regular session in May because the governor and the lieutenant governor are at odds. They're divided on how to give you a discount on your tax bill. At stake is $18 billion that the state has set aside to lower property taxes, but they can't decide exactly how to do it. The major sticking point here is whether to use some of that money to raise the homestead exemption to $100,000. Speaker Dade Phelan told reporters today that he did meet with Lieutenant Governor Patrick this afternoon, but there's no telling yet whether their conversation gets us any closer to a bill. But through all of that discord, today we did see a moment of solemn unity. The Capitol community lost a friend to many in these halls. Tamoria Jones was the chief of staff to Houston Representative Harold Dutton, but more than that, she was a valued mentor and a friend to so many people in the Capitol community. Today, lawmakers honored her standing behind a memorial resolution dedicated to her and authorizing her burial in the Texas State Cemetery. Moria has always been a person who spoke her mind and you always knew where you stood with her in a building where you don't always know where you stand with people. And she is a bright shining light and I am thankful that we're all honoring her memory. And I would just Lawmakers are now out of the office until Friday. Tomorrow, we will get a look into another proposal for property tax relief, this one from some House Democrats, which, among many things, proposes raising the homestead exemption to as much as $200,000. We'll bring you the latest on that. At the Texas Capitol, I'm Ryan Chandler.